I got access to ChatGPT's new agent mode, and I wanted to compare it to other AI agents, specifically GenSpark and Manus, in a business setting. I hate most of the examples that these companies use for live demos because they either are using something so simplistic that no one would actually use an AI agent for it. It just would be much faster to do it yourself, or they're using unrealistic ones like the OpenAI agent mode demo. Like who would go to all major league baseball games for any team. They play like over 120 games. That's ridiculous. So I'm gonna compare all three tools to try to solve real business problems that we got from our clients. We're gonna do two tests. One problem that relates to the web and one problem that relates specifically to files. So the first problem is collecting municipal job information. One municipal client of ours goes to multiple municipal websites across Alberta to collect information such as job type, salary, description, qualifications, and they do this every couple of weeks. They wanna see what other municipalities are doing, what salaries they're offering, and really just to comp compete for talent. So a municipal employee goes to 12 to 14 municipal websites from the major municipalities in Alberta and collects job information, specifically job title, salary, and job description. This obviously takes them many hours to do, to go to every single website, find the job, find the latest jobs, and then collect all that information. Now we've tried to do this with web scrapers, um, like Octoparse and Web Scraper IO. But the problem is that every single municipal website is set up just a little different. And the typical way to, to, to scrape websites doesn't work, whether it has something to do with uh, cookie access or some municipal websites use some sort of HR software like PeopleSoft or Bamboo that hinders web scraping or even things like deep research to all the job descriptions from uh, these websites. So the test here is I'm going to use the city of Calgary's website and it's pretty complicated because they actually use uh, an HR software called PeopleSoft. Previous web scrapers and deep research and things like that have done and before is they don't necessarily go to the job description here. They actually start trying to sign in to to PeopleSoft or they, their HR employee portal and it gets convoluted or they click on view job openings. What we want the action to be is to go into every single one of these jobs, collect the information here, go back and then go to the next job and collect the information. So the prompt is go to this page, scroll down to the job postings, click the link to each job, extract job title, full job description, salary, then go back, click on the next job, and extract the same information. Go back to the careers page and repeat the process until you finish all the jobs. And then I want you to put this information into a spreadsheet. Then I want to create a presentation on the types of jobs available. So I'm gonna, so it's the this prompt. I put that into GenSpark and I put that into Manus. Uh, let's see where that takes us. So let's see how agent mode is doing it. So they've loaded the first job. And it seems that they're collecting the information. I wonder how GenSpark is doing this. So they've started collecting the information. And how about Manus? So I'm going to let this go. I'm going to record everything, but I kind of come back and let's see if it actually completed the task and how long it took. So while that's working, I'm gonna move on to our second problem, and this one relates to files. So this construction company buys a lot of supplies from various uh, vendors, and they keep an internal registry list of all the materials they bought. And you can see here from just this quarter, the amount of things they that were purchased, as well as the various vendors. Now these suppliers or vendors also send statements at the end of each month or quarter of all outstanding invoices. And sometimes it's not even PDFs, it's actually pictures of the statement sent in an email, which makes everything even more difficult. So somebody at this construction company has to compare the statements provided by the vendors and their internal registry list to ensure there's no discrepancies. Any missed discrepancies with the amount of things being purchased, and we're talking thousands of invoices, leading to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars of, of supplies being bought, any doubles, doubling of invoices or missed invoices leading to late fees can eventually lead to hundreds of thousands of dollars wasted 
at the end of each year. So we're currently helping this client using ChatGPT for Teams, that's their uh, preferred large language model, to do this comparison, but we're doing it one at a time. So we're gonna use Manus, GenSpark, and Agent Mode with connectors to see if we can solve this problem, but using multiple statements in files in Google Drive. So what we're doing here, here is we're gonna compare this invoice register list, which contains the last quarter of all the invoices that this company, all the supplies that this company has paid for, including the invoices and invoice number. And we're gonna compare it to these four vendor statements from the last month. We have a pretty complex prompt here, because I'm taking the prompt that we're currently using with O3 and I've adjusted it to use for ChatGPT for agents, GenSpark and Manus. And basically what it says is go to this folder and these are four invoice statements. Then I've also attached the CSV of the invoice register list. And I want it to review the invoice register list. Then I want to compare it against each of the four PDF statements. And I want to make sure that it understands the amount or balance owing. So there are, for each statement, as you can see here, the amount remaining and the amount owing for, for that company. And I want them to do a comparison and I want to provide a report invoices in the PDF statement, but not in the invoice register list include invoice number and amount, and then be invoices in the invoice register, but not in the PDF statement, because the company wants to assess both. And I also gave it an example of how, how the report should look. What I'm going to do is start that now with all three, and let's see how it works. And as you can see from Manus is connected, GenSpark is connected to my Google Drive. Let's go back to the first problem the one where they're looking for municipal job information, see how it's going. With ChatGPT agent mode, it is clicking on each link and going through and actually um, collecting the information. Seems like it's, it's, it's going. With GenSpark, it only got to 12, so it didn't complete the task. I have enough to start creating a spreadsheet, perfect. I've successfully tried to jump from the cruise page and 12 different positions. Um, finish the rest. So GenSpark only did 12. So there are 38 jobs on this page currently. So I wanted to finish the rest of those jobs. And how about Manus? Uh, I love the presentations that GenSpark and Manus always provide. So let's see the job analysis. What does this actually look like? It gave the 40, which is not bad. I think maybe I miscounted but it did not give me the job description, but maybe I wasn't definite or um, specific enough, but that's still not bad. Although there's a lot of missing information too. There's like a lot of TBDs, details extracted, no. So actually not all these details were extracted. I'm not sure why. Why did Manus not, not able to extract this information? So I'm gonna ask it, can you extract information for all three? What is it, 39 job listings? I think you only did two, completed two of them. Now let's go back to test number two and see how it's going. As you can see here, ChatGPT, agent mode, it's continuing to do it with GenSpark. It went into its AI drive, which doesn't make any sense. Now I know you've seen I connected it to Google Drive. It can see that it can't see anything. I think it's confused. And it can't actually access the drive. So maybe I have to update it into the drive. I don't think it completed it. So the goal isn't to upload the files into GenSpark, but see if it actually can go into those folders, into the folder and do the, do the comparison there. How about Manus? See, it, same thing, it cannot locate the drives. And maybe I'm doing this wrong because I can't do the, uh, can you access the Google Drive? If you provide me a shareable link, but that doesn't make any sense because as you can see here, add doc sheets from other files from Google Drive. This actually can't access the folder 
it can only add. It, um, am I reading that correct? So Manus doesn't work in, in that capacity. So how about if I do share this folder? How about if, so how about if I share the link with Manus? GenSpark, how about if I do the same thing? And here, let's see, it actually, com so agent mode actually completed it. Oh, and you can see the, what it's doing. And it did the comparison too for every single invoice. Now I have to double check if these numbers are correct, which it's going to take me a little bit of time too, on what was outstanding, what's not. But from the face of it, it looks like agent mode does the best in terms of connectors while GenSpark don't think it does. GenSpark, I'm having a tough time doing it. And then Manus, I have to sign in. So I would count these two as failures while agent mode actually completed the task, but we'll have to double check uh, if it actually did the task correctly. Okay, so now let's go back to the first task and see if it, where it is. ChatGPT agent mode is still finishing each posting and then GenSpark is still stuck. So it wasn't able to complete. Oh, it was, great. The other 29, it was only to able to complete 29. So it's now creating the presentation, which I still think GenSpark has the best presentation creator than anything. Just maybe a little bit ahead of Manus, but they're both really good. And then Manus. So at the current pace, extracting all 39 jobs would take approximately two to three hours of continuous work. I don't think I have enough credits this month. Well, let's say, and let's see if it'll take two to three hours, which it really shouldn't because agent mode is literally doing it one at a time and it's definitely not going to take that long. So let's check back in when they're completely done. Okay, let's check out the results. So for the web task, open it, chat GPT agent is done. It took, I think it took 35 minutes to do the entire piece. Um, let's take a look at the spreadsheet. It looks like it got 40 jobs. So I'm obviously miscounted. Here is the Excel spreadsheet. It got the salary information. Obviously, you have to double check. I did do a couple spot checks and it was it seemed okay. It had a pretty good description and contained most of the jobs on the page with the salary. So I would say task well done. Then it also did the presentation and it was very lackluster. And it spent quite a lot of time on the presentation too. So that was okay. Let's move on to GenSpark. This took about the same amount of time, but required multiple promptings. So with GenSpark, it did 12 first, then I had to prompt it some more to complete it. Then it did 29, then I had to prompt it some more. Mind you, the presentations, by the way, are fantastic. This looks so good. And it matches the, the city of Calgary's uh, brand too. Fantastic. But it didn't complete all of it. So I had to ask it, hey, you've got to get all 39 jobs which I think it was 40. So it redid it, it got to 42. So I think, I don't know, something's off here, but that's fine. Now recreated the presentation, again, amazing. Followed the brand of the, the, the city, well, the red at least. I would say job mostly completed, but required follow-up prompting. Now Manus eventually came up with a spreadsheet. Now it went to 40, which is correct, but it wasn't able to give me the information. So I'm not sure why, but just like GenSpark, fantastic slides follow the brand if you were to use just slides of these two they are superior to any ai product and just to recap from the files perspective agent did it gen spark wasn't able to locate wasn't able to use the connectors and neither was manis so that was an incomplete or a fail on their part from in terms of, of using data connectors agent did a really good job of using the connectors going into the, the Google Drive and then doing the comparisons one invoice statement at a time. In conclusion, I want to make this one caveat. It's so easy to find use cases that agent mode, gen spark or Manus will either succeed or fail in. I'm just using two business examples here and I'll continue to test. The whole focus of this test was to see if any of these tools can do it faster than doing it manually or was accurate enough 
that if you can leave multiple uh, tabs open and have these agents just running in the background, then can you do something else and it's reliable enough you come back and be confident in the results. So for the web activity to actually complete the task, agent mode did the best. GenSpark came back, but it had multiple prompts and Manus couldn't really complete the task. And then when files and connectors were included, agent mode did the best because it was able to read the files, go into Google Drive, extract the information, do that comparison versus none of the other two. So if you have access to all three, I'd love to see other examples of real business use cases of how you would use these tools uh, going forward.